Welcome back to the channel. My name is Lance with One Too Many Hobbies. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you my thought process on how I took this traditional chuck box and created the ultimate chuck box for my pop-up camper. Let's get into the video. Before I get started, I wanna give you some background. I've built two traditional camping chuck boxes like the one I'm standing next to prior to building this one for my pop-up camper. The first one I made was back in 2013. It was a big upgrade from camping out of storage bins off the ground. And in 2018, I built version 2.0 that I'm standing next to right now. It's smaller, it's lighter, it's overall a better design from the original chuck box. I'll have the original video links down below in case you're interested in checking those out. And I'll also be making a separate video sharing version 2.0 over my original chuck box design. Some of you might actually be more interested in this design over the one that hangs off the pop-up camper. And I'll tell you which one I prefer. It's this one right here, hands down. We were used to having an outdoor kitchen when we used to tent camp back in the day. And with our new pop-up camper, we didn't like the idea of cooking inside this thing. So after a few trips with the camper, I came up with this design. It's simple, but gives you just enough space to be organized outside. We love having everything we need outside in our chuck box, from paper plates to utensils to some salt and pepper, even some snacks, and everything we need to make s'mores at night, which ultimately is the most important part about camping, the s'mores. Having a horizontal surface on top of the chuck box is a perfect place to put your cutting board. I can easily prep all my food while still having access to inside the chuck box because this door is so shallow. And you'll notice that I'm using a five pound propane tank for my stove. It only cost me about $4 to fill this up and it's equivalent to five of the one pound Coleman disposable propane tanks that you might get from Academy or Walmart that are roughly $5 each. I'll have the link to the one that I purchased off Amazon down below. And it's worth noting, it only takes about 15 of the one pound disposable tanks to break even on the purchase of this five pound propane tank. And it's better for the environment. The reason I'm not using the propane off my camper is because the access door is in a horrible location. It's right in the way of the door of the chuck box. You'll also notice that I'm hanging the propane off the roof latch of the camper. I decided to do this one day because we were camping and ants were making their way up the hose inside the chuck box. Ultimately, getting to our s'mores that we love so much. This solved that problem. It's also important to know we do not camp in bear country. And if we did, I would easily take down the chuck box each night and throw it in the back of the pickup truck that has a truck bed cover on it. Now that you have a better idea why I built this, let's get into the measurements. It's 29 inches long by 18 inches deep and 15 and a half inches tall for the main box. The door measures 29 inches long by eight and a half inches tall. The drawer is roughly 27 inches long by 15 and a half inches deep and two inches tall. I use these measurements so it fits perfectly behind the door of the camper. And it's the first thing out when we're setting up camp and it's the last thing in when we're breaking down camp. Your measurements could vary based on your camper. I already own the 22 inch partner camp stove. So I built the rest of the chuck box around the stove and the drawer it would mount to up to a maximum of 21 inches that my camper would allow me to store it in. I used half inch and three eighths Baltic birch plywood to try and make this as light as possible without ruining the integrity of the box. I joined it together using the Festool Domino, similar to a biscuit joint, but a lot stronger. It's basically a loose mortise and tenon. I know not everyone's gonna own this machine or go out and buy it. So some other joints that would work, obviously a biscuit joiner would work here. The Craig pocket hole jig, this is a great economic alternative. Another option would be using a dowel jig. However, I think you would need to use thicker material for this method. And the hardest option would be to use dados and rabbit grooves. 
Finally, you could use good old screws and glue. Next up is the hardware. I use four heavy duty handles for this and a heavy duty 28 inch full extension locking drawer slides. Make sure you use the locking drawer slides. Instead of using regular short screws, I use 516 screw posts that I modified a little bit to mount the drawer slides. I figured over time, regular screws would fail since the material was only a half inch thick. Not a whole lot of material for the screws to bite into. When using these screw posts, you'll want to make a jig like this one so you can align your drill holes perfectly with your drawer slides. Otherwise, it's almost impossible to drill this accurately freehanded. For the door hinge, I use a stainless steel piano hinge I got off Amazon. And to hold the door horizontal, I decided to use furniture wall anchors I got off Amazon as well. To hold the door closed, I used some simple door latches I got from Home Depot. On the bottom, I installed these industrial road case metal feet to make it easier to slide around and to keep off the ground. The legs were the hardest thing to find. They needed to be narrow, adjustable legs that also folded. The most expensive thing about this build because you only needed one and they came in a pair. So I chose to mount the folding legs all the way through the drawer and into the stove using a bolt and a nut instead of using a short screw into the half inch plywood. This is an overall better connection versus using a traditional screw. And finally, I cut off the mating hook from the barbecue mount and drilled holes in it so I could mount it to the backside of the chuck box. I never planned on using this barbecue anyways because I use a Weber Jumbo Joe for all my barbecuing. And for the finish, I wanted something durable but also water resistant. I found this product called Duratex online. It's designed for speaker boxes and traveling road cases. It's pretty easy to apply with the provided roller. It's very similar to a bed liner material. And what I like most about this product, it's really easy to apply a touch up coat to. We really love how easy this thing is to set up and how organized it keeps us while we're camping. Now it's easier to set up with two people, especially when it's loaded with supplies, but I've managed to do it myself. I still want to make a wall that will zip into the Dometic awning to cover the backside of the kitchen. So you're protected from the rain and you can cook in all elements. So yeah, that's a tour of our pop-up chuck box that hangs off the camper. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you on the next one.